all right guys for kage cube and welcome back to the brand new video now let, before we start let me just address one thing so about my memory you are tier list i made some some mistakes some some big mistakes some little mistakes but that's all cool that's all cool you told me in the comment section below uh you tell me the reasons why you think some cards are much much better than i thought at that moment and you are right i underestimated speed and many more things for certain ur cards so thank you for teaching me uh, i love that that's why i make those tier lists because then i learn a lot from you guys next tier list will be now much much better because now i have much much bigger knowledge so thank you all okay from the heart and sorry that i did some mistakes but i'm not an experienced jp player i'm i'm just started like a real like global player and i played like before global i played like two weeks jp so i'm not like like i always say i'm not like a crazy experienced guy in this game but i will learn i will improve and much much more this is my second account now so don't worry because on today's video okay now let me go to the main topic on today's video i will tell you some major global uh, tips that i didn't know before i started this game and i learned them while playing the game and from you guys what you told me in the comment section below so let me start with the first major huge global tip where you're gonna save bunch of gems and bunch of stamina okay stamina especially and then gems because you're gonna waste little stamina and then you won't have to like using refills with the gems for the stamina just because of this major huge tip okay if i go into characters level up character ability board let me take aizawa so i can show you this is huge guys so watch this is huge for example here let me say here you need this blue milk or whatever that is okay you click on this and then it shows you the quest where you can get it now listen you see this one two stage the first milk i'll call this milk material i don't know what the hell is this but it is red one not blue one that means that the red one will have like much much higher chance much much higher chance okay let me actually use like three skip tickets much much higher chance to drop than a blue one okay you will see now six red one only two blue ones but we need blue ones so we wasted now a lot of stamina not a lot but you know what i mean here you have blue first then it's green this is what we want we want to grind blue and in that way you're gonna get now blue okay yeah most of it it's gonna be blue not every time but like statistically yeah you can see two blue items right here no green one so guys when you are grinding for ability board if i knew that in the beginning that would be god tier because i would save so much stamina okay so every time you need for example here you need blue uh here wait, wait a sec here you need this uh this yellow yellow shits okay or i can put i can go like here you need here green green material okay you go on one tree it says blue oh we don't want that we don't want because blue is first we are looking where green is first then we go skip and we're gonna get the biggest amount of green material that we need okay okay now it happened like this but you know what i mean okay just statistically yeah as you can see first time only here green green okay this one is like okay rarely it happens like you get equally amount of both green and red but mathematically drop rate for the green one now is much higher than the red one okay so use that next global huge tip that i learned from you guys okay uh here if i go into the one second gear shop it is really crucial that every day you do this boring thing buying all of this bum buy all okay at the beginning when you have like low amount of uh, gold coins 
do update of this shop a few times, buy everything. It will save you stamina and gems overall because you're going to need those material to awaken or unlock ability board segments. So here it is. I'll buy like you can if you are low on coins, you can just update it until it will be like 4K or even 10K and then you can stop. But just do this a few times a day for sure. Everyone who is like end game player already buy everything, like everything, everything until you can't update it anymore. For me, this is enough now as a beginner on this account. Yeah, 4,000. I will, I will stop here because I have only 8,000. But okay, I will grind much, much more today on this new account. Uh, yeah, you can see I'm low on gems. That means that you can expect summoning video, but I might upload this video afterwards. I'm not sure. But guys, uh, these are just two major uh, global tips that I want to share with you. Now, let me go to the little things. Um, what I've learned in the quests. Okay, now I can't open, but uh, Ultra Arena on my main account. Find always someone who has like lower BP because you want to defeat him without losing any of your allies. Okay, when you defeat that, you're going to get extra points. Which is incredible for the event few more tips this event will be here for three more days um if you can beat ultra don't be so much focused on it don't waste time uh, especially three starring it just focus on a hard uh really hard event this is the yeah very hard yeah uh do that three star if you can and from that you can farm bunch of events material now a lot of you asked me uh, for the end of the video the final global tip um, a lot of you asked me what to buy first from the shop memory card sr beautiful working incredibly good with nejar and many other uh, characters as, as you can see increased character max hp and then you can buy like multiple of those four of those and you can max limit break uh, endeavor why not eventually you're gonna pull him kanimari uh, kaminari why not those fragments buy them don't buy for the r ones uh prioritize honestly this sr memory card then the summoning tickets uh then the super gadgets prioritize super gadgets mm, even the food is pretty nice for the memories but yeah overall and then the other buy what you need you know over time uh but yeah, I always buy the biggest things, the most um, valuable items in the game. Memory cards, fragments, new recruit cards. That's incredible. You can just pull a new character. Super gadget, uh, intricate gadget and normal gadget. So first super, then intricate, then normal gadget. And the same goes for the memory gadgets. Uh, buy those for the eat for the level up buy them and then for the ability board i mean if you can buy everything but always go for from most expensive to the less expensive because the same is the value in the game okay guys that's it love them leave a like subscribe and yeah one more time i apologize that my memory tier list isn't the most precise one at that moment that was my opinion i didn't want to check out anyone else i just want to do it on my own and see how it's gonna go so that's cool i'm fine with that thank you for the all advices next time will be a much better tier list thanks to you guys bye